just so excited and curious. <laughs> yes, so Umaima, Umaima is watching us from Cairo. Uh, we have many people watching from Asia. I would like to know where are you watching from Asia? You can send us in the chat. Uh, we have many people watching in the Middle East. 58% uh, Philippe, they are teachers. And then the other attendees, they are playing a different role. So welcome everyone. The recording started, the registration started. People are from Tunisia, from Cairo, and from other countries, Philippe. Let's give it a start and talk about positive discipline in the early years. Okay, good morning, everybody. I'm so glad to be here with you. Although I don't see you, but I'm sure you're all over uh, today with us. Uh, it's going to be a, an interactive presentation, the most interactive as possible with the Zoom um, we use now. I just uh, wanted to show you this uh, sentence, this, this statement, because for me it's, um, it's really something which is the base of what I believe in uh, positive discipline. It's, it's attributed to, ah, I forgot to put the name of the person, it's uh, Rudolf Dreikus, so you will see him next in a few, in a few minutes. Uh, he's trying to say, don't do for a child what this child, this child can do for himself. He will be able to learn. And uh, some people, they just love their children and they want to, do the, to offer the best for them. And uh, finally, they do everything and the poor child, not poor, but the, the child is just behind trying to do things, but then he gets probably discouraged. Just a few words about me. I'm a Swiss citizen from Geneva. I was raised and born and raised in Geneva. Uh, and I've been working as a teacher for 20 years, mostly. And um, meanwhile, I also work for the International Committee of the Red Cross. I went in different countries to work there, not as a teacher, but as a delegate for, to represent the, the, the ICRC. And then I came back teaching, and that's the way I, I discovered positive discipline training. Uh, so I became a positive discipline trainer for parents, for teachers, for early childhoods, and even companies. We work now with my colleague Izumi, who you will be have a chance to see her later on today. And uh, I've been trained as a coach and a mediator. And you have a few information if you're interested about me. Uh, I'll be glad to answer it. Just one notice, my website, it's not a professional website and I'm uh, only in French. So if you want to get more information, you better wait until the end that you will get more information about where to get information in English mostly. So that might be more helpful for everybody else. Um, we will use the chat to try to answer you. Ali, can you just give some- Yes, hints, I would like to remind them I would like to remind them to click in that chat box, all panelists and attendees. And for all the people who are watching us on Facebook, I can see many uh, people are watching from Lebanon. Uh, you can also use the uh, chat on Facebook. I will be keeping an eye on uh, that chat on Facebook. And then if you have any question for Philippe, you can send it in the Q and A. Very good, thank you, Ali. And uh, just, I'm not going to introduce positive discipline in a whole, but just to give you some uh, uh, hints so you can maybe approach what it is. You will be, uh, be in, uh, feeling it actually because we're going to do some activities, really practical activities. So the idea of positive discipline is to develop a sense of connection. Uh, so the child might be able to feel this belonging uh, to the group, the family, the, the class, what, whenever it is. And that something is significant for him. Belonging to a group, it's the human nature. And ha this has been told by uh, Alfred Adler. You will see just who, is, who was that guy. At the same time, we use to try to be kind and firm at the same time. And the and is the most important word in this uh, sentence, because that's the idea to be respectful and encouraging. And you can set limits. You don't have to be mean, you just have to say whatever you need to be, is needed to be said, sorry. Um, the positive discipline is effective on the long term. Uh, if, you, if you make a punishment, a sanction to a child, it will work at the beginning, but then on the long term, it's not as effective and you get the child more discouraged. You just can have a look at the small uh, image on the, on the right on the, on the, on the slide. And uh, what I love in, with positive discipline is that it teaches social and life skills. You will develop any skills that you need for you and for your children and for the people around you. 
So finally, uh, you will be able to, to help the children to discover how capable they are. It's, uh, not, they will be able to get to be autonomous, to get more power on their life, not just they can do whatever they like, but just because uh, th that's the movement and we, we speak about movement. And why do we speak about movement? That's the idea. Where does it come, positive discipline? The two guys on the left, Alfred Adler and Rudolf Dreikers, they were together in the 19th uh, something, 1930, 1920, something like that together. They were in Austria. In Austria. And these guys didn't create the positive discipline. They, Alfred Adler actually created what it's called um, uh, psychology. Uh, should, sorry, I forgot the name now in, in English. <laughs> Uh, the personal you say psychology. It in French. Yeah, no, it's okay. And then, many years later, the two ladies you can see, Jen Nelson, she will be speaking today during the day as well. And Lynn Lutz, they are the creator of the, the positive discipline uh, teaching. And that's, they took the ideas, the really big ideas of these two guys, and they created activities. And you will have to, to you will see that soon with us. So we will just start all together. Yes, so this is our first question for everyone. And let me say, Philippe, that Jane Nelson will be with us today and yeah. the last session of the day. So you can meet her uh, here on Zoom and live on Facebook. We will have a very special session. Uh, so uh, in that chat, please, can you tell us on Facebook or here live on Zoom, what are the challenges you are facing with small children? If you have small children or at school if you are teaching in the early years. So what are exactly. the challenges that you are facing? Uh, Mahitab is uh, started already and she said resistance. Uh, so um, uh, uncontrolled, uh, due to much screen time. We have a special session on screen time this afternoon. So wait and, and watch Izumi. Uh, they don't listen and follow the rule. Uh, they are not very organized. Uh, so these are some of the challenges that our attendees are facing with the, with the small uh, children. So I'm waiting to see if the people on Facebook are going to type something. Uh, okay, according to Walid, he said they are too young to understand. And uh, this is an interesting comment, uh, Walid, because uh, from my opinion, they understand even if they are young. So uh, it's how, how we are dealing it. So uh, how to persuade them to do things, time management, attention spam, uh, they repeat always the same action, uh, lack of concentration, Rania on Facebook, she mentioned this. Um, and again, not following the rule from Etihaj. Uh, so they are stubborn, ner nervous. Uh, my, my, my daughter is shy at school. Uh, yes, yeah, so they don't accept the failure. Uh, these are some of the challenges, Philippe. Would you like to hear more or we're okay? <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Just, I, I'm, I will just pay, pay attention. We are looking for the, the behavior of the child. What, which behavior, I forgot to, pre to, to be more precise. Which behavior, you mentioned a lot of them and it's all, all together. We made this activity all over the world and it, there is no cultural difference. Every person, every parent, every teacher, every uh, small uh, child, uh, early child educator are facing the same challenges. You will see that just in a few seconds. Now we will just go to the next slide and I will just explain to you. You can dream, you can close your eyes, it, it might be helpful. Or, and your own child or your pupils at school, the, the, the children at school, you can close your eyes and imagine in 20 years from now, what are the skills, the life skills you would like to see in them? Or maybe your teacher and the, 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 the child is coming back saying hello, and you discover this beautiful person with all the life skills in the world. So I'm, I'm ready now to, to listen to what Ali will read when you will interact and, and send us the life skills you would like to see in, in children. So Hiba, Hiba mentioned uh, independence. Uh, Jude, global citizens, uh, again, independent. I'm going also to have a look on our Facebook and check our Facebook uh, feedback, what's coming. Walid mentioned leadership, uh, decision-making, uh, again, independence, self-confidence, 
Uh, all these are the words that they are coming now. Uh, confidence is coming again and again uh, from uh, many participants. Majida, hello Majida, she's watching from the UAE and she mentioned cooperation, uh, uh, differentiate the right from the wrong. Uh, so these are some of the life skills that our attendees would like to see and then i'm getting now more and more social intelligence communication critical thinking uh, uh, problem solving yes yeah this list usually goes faster everybody has so many ideas so yes. i pick i pick what to the tool is this activity is called actually the tool list and we make it every workshop all over the world any type of uh, positive discipline uh, workshop then you will start by this uh, tool list so now you have to look have a look this is a, a list i took uh, i found it in the internet actually i didn't have to create it myself and the challenges you you have them like uh, black back dog won't listen morning hassles bedtime hassle anything you mention you probably men will find some ideas that you you found here and in the future the the characteristic and life skill you would like to see in your children uh, could be self-discipline responsibility uh, honesty sense of humor happiness uh, to be flexible to be resilient the, these two lists they are never completed it, it could be longer and longer the importance is that you 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 have a sense of what are the cha the challenges you're facing and we all face challenges with children or also with colleagues it could be with some people or inside the, the 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 family as well so life is not always easy and we all face challenges when someone is behaving he be, have a, a very special behavior and then we are in trouble we don't know and we get maybe um, irritated and we might start to de to tell things which they, maybe maybe later we will regret so what we decided with positive discipline and this is made by jane nelson and not jane again she will be that there at the end of the day is that it's like a gps we if we don't have a gps we don't know where we go and it's so important to know where we go. So the idea is that we start from a challenge. My child, my, uh, my students, they are not listening to me. They don't obey, they don't do what I would like them to do. And uh, I get maybe discouraged and I don't know how to do. So what I would like is to develop their, cap their autonomy, their responsibility. It's the GPS, we, I wanna go there. So you have to pick maybe the one which is the most important for you. And if you want to develop respect, we speak a lot of respect, I think, all over the world, then in the real life, sometimes you can see that respect is not really uh, working because people don't respect themselves. They speak about respect, but they don't do it. So the idea, for instance, if you want to develop respect for a child, what should you do? Do you have any hints? How can we do that? How can we come from my child is not listening to me, my child doesn't want to do things, my child blah, blah, blah. How can we do to be able to develop his responsibility, autonomy? You can use the chat again and maybe Ali, you can help us in this to, to see what the ideas are. I'm sure, I'm of trusting course. that everybody has ideas. So uh, Umayma started uh, by motivation. We should listen, children, men are adults, so we need to show them respect, model for them respect. Uh, it's all about communication, listening, uh, conversation and encouragement. Uh, these are some of the ideas. And again, showing respect. I'm having a look also on, on, on Facebook. Usually there is a delay, so they start posting after the people here. Being positive, give them some small responsibility model it to them uh, so uh, being consistent because this is very important hello Tahani good morning uh, give them time to express themselves this is interesting as well yeah that's plenty of really good ideas and you have plenty of ideas yes. and that's my idea is to trust people sorry Ali to interrupt but you have more to say no, no, it's okay. It's, 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 it's an ongoing kind of chat. I'm so happy to see that numbers of people who are joining is, is, is increasing for this morning. Uh, so these are some of the ideas that we got from the people about how do we teach respect. Mm. And then uh, Lujain, she just said, give them voice and choice. Okay, thank you very much. So I will not give you the answer right now. 
we will do an, a physical activity, a movement activity. So now I hope you can do, if you're in the street, maybe you can just imagine. If you're home, you just make sure that you have, you don't need a huge space, but you need some space. And you can imagine that all together, all the people who are watching now, we, we make a big circle. We give hands each to, to each other, like the picture you see. And uh, the activity is called jump in, jump out. It's very simple. There will be three different phases, and then we, uh, we will share and listen to what happened to you. So I, I let, give you just a few seconds to make sure that you can have a, a space. You, I will be uh, standing because we need to be standing, but if you can stand or if you cannot do it, just imagine, just think, what is this? And I will just take my paper to make sure I will not make any mistakes because mistakes are opportunities to learn. So if I make a mistake, it's not that bad. Then I can learn from it and I can do better the next time. So the idea is you are facing the screen and the first is really simple. You will do what I say. I say something like jump in and I jump in. Jump out and I jump out. Jump right and I jump right. Jump left and I jump left. Maybe on my on your screen you will see when I say right you will see left and so on because that's the problem we are facing with the screen. But the idea is just in out. So I hope now you're ready and we're just going going to train all together. So now you will say do do, do what I do and say what I do. Do what I do and say what I do. I say what I do and do what I do. Sorry, it's the reverse. So I say jump in and you will say jump in and jump in at the same time. We practice slowly at the beginning. Jump out. And I can hear you saying jump out. Jump left. Jump left. Yeah. Jump in. Jump in. Jump out. Jump out. Okay, thank you very much. This is the first phase. So normally we're all together and it's really fun. I, ho I hope you will have uh, an opportunity to do it uh, on, on real life because it's really fun when you have a group and you can do this all together. You can do it with your children. It also, if you have very small children, it might be too difficult for them. But as soon as they can, speak and understand and know the difference and you can practice with them. That's the idea. Positive discipline is like a muscle. You need to practice to develop the muscles and you, you will develop the, not the muscles, but the skills, the life skills that they will, you would like them to teach them. So now the idea is say the opposite of what I say and do what I say. I repeat that because sometimes it gets confusing. You will say the opposite. If I say jump in, you will say jump out. If I say jump out, you will say jump in. But you will do what I say. So if I say jump in, you say jump out, but you jump in. Okay, so we will do some practice now. I will say something, you will say the, the contrary, and you will do what I say. Are you ready? Let's go. Jump in. Jump out. Jump in. Jump out. Jump left. Jump right. Jump in. Jump out. Jump out. Jump in. Jump in. Jump out. Okay, thank you very much. I can see I, Ali, you're not moving, but I can see that you have to think. It's not that easy. It doesn't look like, and I'm sure many people are laughing at home. Even if you're alone, I'm sure you can have uh, have a good laugh with this. And we got the first uh, question from Nada. Yeah. Why we are doing this activity? Can I can I just give you? We will have another phase, and then we will have. Uh, some time to share the answer yes. will come out okay 
Yes. Thank you very okay, much for your patience, that. everybody. So, and then uh, uh, Umaima is mentioning it's very confusing, but really fun. Uh, Dima is saying it increased the attention. So remember, if you want to send any question in the Q&A, and we will answer this question later on. We have more exercises from Philip uh, okay. for this morning. And we might ask for some volunteers to open their camera later on. So feel free uh, later on when I ask uh, uh, if you can open your camera, let me know, okay? Okay, yes. thank you very much. We could have had done this at the beginning. I forgot to ask you, yes. but it's okay. Yes. It's fun. There is the third phase. So now it's getting even trickier. You will say what I say, but you would do the opposite of what I said. You will say what I say, and you will do the opposite of what I say. So I will demonstrate, I will model this. If I say jump in, jump in. You, so you say, Merci, thank you, Ali. You say what I say, and you do the, the, the contrary, the opposite. So instead of jumping in, I'll jump out. But I say jump in. So you will, we will do some, just a three or four of them all together. I explain again so to cool. make sure that everybody understood. I say jump in, you say jump in, but you jump out. I say jump right, and you say, and you do? Jump right, and we do jump left. Exactly. I say jump in. Jump in. And jump you say in. Jump out. And you go jump out. Jump right. Jump right. OK. Can you see that's so confusing, probably? So you can sit down and then take a rest and take your breath because it's quite active. And, and it's, I hope you had really water, some fun. Uh, I will get some water as well for me. I had my glass somewhere. So, uh, while, while Philippe is bringing some water, let me tell you that those early years, the students, they don't need to sit for 40 minutes watching you on Zoom. They need to move and all these kind of movement. Uh, we will check why we are doing them and what is the importance of these movements in the following slides when we start the discussion. Hayam is saying it's so fun, requires a lot of thinking, but I'm wondering how I will modify that in my early years, ESL student. Remember, Hayam, it's, they are, we didn't give very complicated tasks. We were just saying jump in, jump out, and we asked from them to do the opposite or the same or vice versa. So it's, and it's by modeling. So did you notice how Philippe, he practiced it first with us, he modeled it first with us, and then he asked from us to do it and to follow him. Thank you, okay, Ali, for Philippe, all we're ready to continue. Attention. Okay, so now, the, the tradition and the, the way we teach in positive discipline, we go through a process and you can see that on the slide. So the first question we ask, and I'm asking this question to you, and you, you, you can answer in the chat if you want, and you can just think about it. When we were doing this activity, it could be the first phase, the second one, or the third one, but what did you feel? And I'm just reminding you, a feeling is just one word. I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling confused, whatever. So just let us know a few, and Ali, you will read like maybe like three of them. Yes, I'm going to read for you a few of them. I felt excited, happy, curious. Uh, uh, these are some of the feelings that they are coming. Joyful, excited from the, from the chat here. Uh, okay. I felt excited and confused, so exactly. interesting. <laughs> And so what you were feeling, and maybe the feeling of the third activity was different from the first one and the second one. You know, we had three, three, uh, three tries. Second question, which is also very important. What did you think? What were you thinking about me? What were you thinking about yourself? And if you could see the other people, which you, you couldn't, but what were you thinking? What could you think about the people? But what did, were you thinking? So you can share just a few of, of them thinking. I was thinking, blah, blah, blah. I'm curious to read. So I, I felt silly, multitasking. Uh, so uh, these are some of the thinking why we are doing this. Uh, thinking about the children, would they enjoy it? I, 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 I was thinking if I'm like a robot, so interesting connections you're getting. Okay. 
and then because all this process it's not just like that out of the blue it's based on what Adler work was uh, doing so uh, he said, uh, an Adler, sorry, I, come, I came back to Adler just a few seconds, because I remind now, Adler created the individual psychology, and it's really interesting, and all these ideas he created, it observed when he was uh, working at that time, now the, the, the science, the neuroscience, they are proving that he was right. So it's really fun, it's really in, incredible that uh, this is happening come back to the, 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 the process. What were you deciding when we do th this activity? You might have decided to quit because it's too difficult. You might have decided, oh, I don't want to do, or, oh, yes, it's fun. I'm going to, whatever. So what kind of decision did you take during the, the, this process? Any, uh, any example, maybe? Uh, yes, uh, Arshana, she said, I decided to accept the challenge. Very good. Any other? Uh, I want to continue and try. I wanted to try. And so uh, it, it, I thought even if it's challenging yet, I will do it. I wanted to succeed. So very positive uh, feedback coming from this exercise and the decision. Thank you. And the last question, we have four questions. What did you feel? What did you think? What did you decide? And that's important. And you can do this with your children as well. They need to be able to speak and answer, and you have, may, might have to ask uh, to train them little by little, because if you start to do this, and my, it might be even difficult for you if it's the first time you're, you're going through this process. If you think, and I will leave you just like maybe 30 seconds to think over, close your eyes, and what did you learn with this activity? What did you learn? And there is no good or bad answer. All the answers are good because they belong to you. The process is for each of us. What do I learn when I do this activity? So I leave you alone, just a few seconds, and you can write, what did you learn? And then Ali can share with us. I, I cannot uh, be, be silent because the chat is going fast and then okay. otherwise I will miss all the, the go, writing. Go on, so go on. Uh, uh, they said that our brains work with action. It's a combination of gross motor and fine motor skills. Uh, we were multitasking, fun, concentration. Uh, I learned that we can play, we can have fun at the same time. Uh, I learned we can use an activity like that uh, perfectly to teach the kids what I want them to learn. Uh, brains need movement. It was rejuvenating. And then many people uh, in the previous slide, Philippe, they mentioned that uh, they want to share it with their student, they want to share it with other teacher, and they want to try it next week. So okay. a lot of action is happening here. That's great. So you, you, you learned something from you. My learning when I was doing it is that I should, as a teacher, when I was teaching, I should be very cautious when I'm teaching. I, the children, they will learn what they see from me, mostly. Not so much what I tell them, but what, I, what they see from me. So if I'm telling them, jump in, and I'm jumping at the contrary or the opposite to jump high, what do they learn? And if we go, we extend the idea. If I shout and I say, please shut up, and I really shout in the class or in the family, what do I teach to these children, my children or my students? I believe you can write, I teach them to, when I want to, to, to be quiet, I teach them to yell, please. So just think about what you would like. And I remind you, we have this two list. My idea is maybe to teach respect. My idea is to teach autonomy. If I don't give autonomy to the child, and it could be a very small child, he can be autonomous, not the same as an adult, but he can be autonomous. So if you remember, remember you the first uh, statement I put, never do for a child what he can do for himself. So you can accompany, you can help him, but not do it for him. You can train, and it, it could be something like that. So thank you very much, but I, I'm sure you had, and I really hope you had some more. I have another activity for you. 
uh, I, I, I'm getting a lot of feedback, Philippe, just to let yeah. you know that people, they said we can do it even with the middle school student, not just early years. Uh, we, are, uh, we are mirroring a lot of things, we are role modeling, and so the action speaks louder. These are some of the feedbacks in the chat before we continue. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I can, I can uh, confirm you that all these activities, you have to adapt it. If it's a small child, it's not the same as uh, someone who cannot read. A child who cannot read, then maybe you have to make different activities. But it works even with adults. When we work with companies, with Izumi, my colleague, we do not all the, the same activities, but many activities. It, they are all about the same. And the learnings is profound and deep because be, people have been learning by doing. They were just, we asked them to go inside and think and decide and uh, have feelings. So now it's another activity. It's called Charlie. I hope among you there is no Charlie. If you call Charlie, some, sorry, you can, we can take another name. We had to change in French. The, the activity at the beginning was called Charlie. Then in Paris, when the, 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 this was this terrorist act, and for the Charlie Hebdo magazine, then we had to change the name and we called it Willy. But you, if you want to do this activity, make sure that you can call the, the, the person any name, but someone who, has not, who is not inside your class or your family. So if there is a Charlie, you imagine it's another name. Uh, I cannot know if you are Charlie or not. So I will present to you Charlie. This is Charlie, I hope you can see him. Yes, we can. of course you have feeling, of course you have ideas and so on. But let's imagine this child, Charlie, is new in my school, in my childcare center. And we don't know exactly when he cannot belong, when he, he, he doesn't know how to do it. He doesn't know, oops, sorry, I will try to do it. He doesn't know exactly what to do to be accepted among the, the others. And um, what is worse, all the children in the class, we don't know exactly why, but they don't like him. So I would like you to think you're, you're a small child, like between three to six years old, and there you can see this Charlie coming in new place, and you don't like him. So in the chat, because normally it's already, but now it will be in the chat, please let us know what this as a child or what the child could tell Charlie. And you just one at a time, uh, Ali, because I have to do something at the same time. Yes. So what could be bad words Charlie will hear? So you're not my friend. You're idiot. You look like stupid. You're weird. Go Thank away. You. Thank yeah. you. We can go on. There might be probably more, more actions. Yes, they are getting me more and more loser, freak. You don't have iPhone. Uh, okay. You're nothing. I don't like you. Exactly. So now you see, Charlie, how does it look like? How is he feeling? What do you think he is feeling? I will leave you some time to put in the chat. How is he feeling now, this Charlie guy? Sad, anxious, broken, mad, abandoned, isolated, devastated. Okay. We stop felt here. very bad. Yeah, crushed, lacking of confidence, bullied. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If he All is only correct. destroyed. Yeah. Yes, rejected. So you probably, if I ask you the question, do you think he will have, uh, he will come back to school tomorrow? The answer is probably no, he doesn't want to. So now we imagine we made a class and all the children made a class of positive discipline. They, they made a workshop, so they learn from it. And, but even if you don't have, you didn't do any class of positive discipline, you can, you can do this. You're able to do the activity, the next part of the activity. So now, what the children could tell Charlie that will be something positive? Or can you, you make uh, the Charlie belong to the class or to the school? 
What can be some I nice... love you. Love you. Welcome, Charlie. You are my friend. Let's be friends. Let's hang out together. I want to play with you. You're nice. You're sweet. Hug and smile. What do you like to play? Let's have fun together. Let's eat lunch together. You are special. It's... Thank you so much. It's yeah. all true. So now have a look at Charlie. How do you think he is feeling? How does he look like? You can answer in the He's chat. Accepted, always. accepted, much better, happy. He's welcomed, enthusiastic. He belongs. He still hurts, still hurts. He's comfortable, blessed. Thank you, Ali. You see all these wrinkles, and that's why we, I put this paper on the sheet, and I said, you will know why. So even though you, you, tell, you told, them, told him, sorry, you told him nice, sent, nice statement, uh, I want to be your friend, come and sit next to me, so on. These wrinkles, they will always be there. They will be diminished, maybe, but they probably will appear. And uh, I remember one time I've done this activity in my class that was six years old that year. And uh, one of my uh, students, she said, but you know, it's easy. You can take an iron and you iron the paper and then there won't be anything. And before I could answer, there was another child saying, no, this will not happen because I've tried once. And it's always, you can always see the small, they didn't know how to express the word, but they, everybody understood. So Charlie, now I will just, just go through the process. What did you feel when you see you saw Charlie going destroyed? Uh, so uh, wrinkles will stay. We are broken. I'm sad for him. It hurts. Uh, again, the word sad, um, heartbroken. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a very simple exercise, Philip. And look to, so to, to, to the, the powerful message that yeah. we just uh, got. A scared, it's a meaningful learning engagement. Hello, Rachel. Uh, I'm crushed. Uh, we do the same exercise with paper hearts from Anna. Exactly. So yeah. we can go through the process. What did you think during the activity? What did you decide for you, for the others? And what did you learn? I, I'm interested now to go that maybe directly to what did you learn from this activity? So if you can, if you can share with us, please, what did you learn from this activity? For so Anaham, she said, we use, we use the same activity to explain about kindness. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, think before we speak, think before we speak, words can, cannot be taken back. Uh, do not hurt others, think twice before hurting, uh, shouldn't hurt others. Yep. Okay, thank you very yes. much, that's great. I give you a piece of advice. If you, if you do this activity and you're in a class or a, a child care center, you can put this Charlie on the wall. It's like a mm. reminder. And you can have children saying, oh, I feel like Charlie. Or if you see someone uh, who is maybe sad or is hurt or whatever, you can ask him, do you feel like Charlie? He will say yes or no. And what the next step is, so what do you need? What could you do to feel better? And we can help it maybe to feel better. I would just make a small note before we go through the next activity. You, you might you might have noticed that I don't really explain because the explanation, you will find it by yourself. We trust the process and we trust you as we trust children. And I really encourage you to trust yourself and to trust the, the children you're working with or your own children because they deserve the trust and it will really help you to go to this GPS like teaching respect, teaching authority, uh, autonomy, teaching responsibility, teaching love, teaching whatever, because you will be modeling it. And that's the main idea. If you have to keep in mind something after this, this uh, meeting, it's just model what you would like to see in your children. 
the more you do it, you don't have to be perfect. Nobody is asking you to be perfect. You do the best as you can, and it will be modeling. And there are plenty of tools we can use. I can present only three here because of the time, but I'm sure if you go to my colleague, they will use uh, some other tools maybe, or maybe it's the same. You will see might be something, I don't know what their, their program is. I will go to the next activity, which is called asking versus telling. So for this activity, I need to read you some sentence. So we will imagine, and, and I'm really appreciating if you can, maybe you close your eyes, maybe not, doesn't matter. You decide, you're the one who decides. You're a small child and I'm either your father or your teacher, you choose. It doesn't matter who I am, but you listen to the, 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 the statements. There will be two lists of statements. There will be eight, eight statements in each uh, part. I will just give a small break between the, the, the statement and you have nothing to do except thinking, feeling, noticing what, what you decide and at the end, what you, did you learn from the activity. So imagine you're a small child, like four years old, five years old, six years old, whatever. I go on. Go and get your jacket. Wash your hands before snack time. Lie down on your mat. Share with your friends. Put the blocks back on the shelf. Don't throw the ties. Don't take beans from the sensory bean to the kitchen area. Go get your things from your Kirby. That's the end of the first part. And maybe we can just exchange it in the chat. You can put feelings, you can put decision, you can put thinking, whatever. And Ali, you can read whatever you need. Yes, so... Too much orders, boring, orders all the time. Oh my God, I felt like I'm in an army. It was all commanding. Again, order is coming again and again and again. Okay, thank you very much. Now we go to the second part and I will be giving also eight uh, statements. Are you ready? Close your eyes, you're a small child and you listen to your dad or to your uh, teacher, whatever. Um, what will you need to take so you won't get cold outside? What do you need to do with your hands before snack time? Where should you be so you can rest at nap, nap time? How can you and your friends play with the, the toy together? Where do the blocks belong when you finish playing with them? Where do the beans in the sensory bean belong? What do you need to get from your cubby before you go home with your dad? That's the end of the second part. So now again, you can share either your thinking, your feeling, your decision uh, with us and Ali will read it. Uh, Rana, she just said, I have the ability to think and imagine. There is a conversation. I can take a decision. I can decide. Uh, I feel supported and loved. Uh, we are sharing the decision. Yeah. Okay. I'm being trusted. I'm involved. My personal opinion matters. I'm guided. Okay. Thank you very much. I feel so what... responsible. Exactly. That's the idea. So you, you really have a sense huh? just by uh, uh, leaving the, the activity and closing your eyes or listen to the, the, the statement, then you can discover things for you. So just maybe one of two uh, learning. What did you learn with this activity or what, what you, will you think, what will you do next when you will be with your child or your student? Ali, if you have some sharing, it, it will yes, be great. Yes, I'm giving them a few minutes. Oh, a few seconds to type. What did you <laughs> learn from the activity? Asking versus telling. Okay, so Jude, uh, always include them in the decision-making. Uh, Fatten, ask not to order. 
these are the responses that we are getting from our attendees. Hello, Samar. Involving children, giving them voice and choice, let them think uh, before they make the decision. Instead of telling them what to do, uh, show them or uh, instead of telling what to do, find what they can do, uh, involve the kid, uh, respect their opinion. And now the list is, is very long about what they share with us. Okay, thank you very much. So you see, everybody is learning. We are all different and we all learn different things and we, we learn what we need. So with the, the act, this activity is also quite simple and it probably brings you some hints about how can I do to be to act or to speak with the child I'm responsible for? And uh, the idea also is not that you never use orders or you never tell because the life is sometimes you need to tell and it's okay. There is no way. Sometimes people said, but I cannot give orders. Of course you can give orders. It's not prohibited. As long as you you kind and firm at the same time, it's okay. But you can, from the learning you, you just demonstrated, you can see that when you ask question, it goes to something else. It, it, there is the movement. We speak about the movement. Adler was very convinced that movement is the, the key to learn. That's what we need, not always, but movement is needed in the learnings. So now I'm, I'm really proud of you because oh, you can be proud of you more better than I'm proud of you. You can be proud of you because you've been learning some, uh, some thing today, I hope at least. Just the tools we, we practice today, there are three. I could have expressed it differently, but the main idea is that for the first one, it's to be a model when you say and do. Jump in, jump out, you model. The, the, the more you model and you're, you're in, a, how do you say, you're together, about what you say and what you do, what you show, what you model to your child, then the best it is for the interest of everybody. And uh, Alfred Adler was speaking about the Gemeinschaftsgefühl, it's a, a German word, which means it's difficult to explain, but the idea is this, the, this feeling of belonging and being part of the group and being important in the group because I can contribute to the group. So that's the, one of the main ideas. The second, it could be the impact of words. You all see that when we can be heard by someone saying just one word and it goes deep, it goes deep. And then it takes time just to accept the idea and maybe someone will apologize. But then anyway, it's done. So you will have to deal with this for you. So impact of words. And the last one, ask to invite cooperation. Because if you give orders and only orders, then you don't bring cooperation in the meeting. The cooperation will come because you ask and you really care about the child, you really listen. There are plenty of things you, uh, we could do all together, but the listening to a child, the child has the right to be an equal to you. That means uh, he, that he has different responsibility. If you're the, the adult and if he's the child, it's, un, it's under maybe by the, the hate, but in the communication, we want to be able to communicate at the same level. So if you ask a question to a child, listen to him. And you have noticed probably that when I ask question like, how, what were you feeling? What were you thinking? In the, in the real life, in a group life, there is always some kind of silence. Why is it so? I'm sure you know, because you just need to process. It's normal, it's the, the, the human being. So if you do things like that with children, it's really encouraging you to, to ask questions such as, what did you feel? What did you think? What did you decide? And leave them the time to answer. And even though when they say, I don't know, you can just add, and I'm trusting you that you will find an idea and I will leave you some time for it. And you just wait and keep your mouth shut. Then you will probably have some invite, some information. Okay, Ali, I just have a question. How long do we have more left? We still have five minutes. Okay, five minutes. So, and, uh, and, and we got some feedback, Philippe, uh, people saying we've learned a lot in a very small amount of time today. Asma, the day is full of ideas. Um, uh, <clears throat> yes, so 
let's do this final reflection, Philippe, and then I'm going to share with them our website uh, to guide them about the program and what do we have next. Okay. So in that chat, you can start putting what are your takeaway home today. It's our final reflection. And then uh, I'm sure Philippe uh, would like to share his website and more details in the following slide. So Najah, it was amazing. Um, uh, Umayma, uh, think before you speak. Uh, these are the three words in the chat. Uh, we enjoyed the activities from Shahina, and uh, what else do we have from our attendees today? Uh, you are a mirror, respect, model, listen, and trust, and action, uh, be a model, uh, positive word, trust the child, a very informative session, we're so happy to hear that, the new beneficial strategies, uh, very good, so the child is your equal. Hello, Ashayma, good morning. So yes, Philip, what do you have next on your slides? First, I have to offer you all these flowers for you. So you, your day might be the best day of the day. I love flowers and I found this one uh, yesterday. Yes. So I'm offering uh, it to all of you. And uh, I, I didn't put my website because it's yes. not in English. And I put, mm. you, if you're interested to find out more information about uh, positive discipline you can go to positivediscipline.org and there is a, another positive discipline but dot com the dot com mm. you can find uh, books in english in spanish in arabic books and manuals and guides and some of them you can download them so it's really useful you will find activities it's not everything for everybody but you you might find a lot and if you want to learn more about positive discipline you go to dot org and there you will find also all the session and we do a lot of uh, online session with zoom and it's working really well uh, except the difference of the webinar you see everybody and the activities goes on and uh, we are giving a lot so there are workshops in English, in Spanish, in Arabic, in French, and they are all announced. You have, you just have to go inside the, the website and you will find everything. So I'm really glad because we spent this time together and I really enjoyed it. I don't know if you had this feeling, but I was so happy to share that. And I'm so convinced. We, 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 felt, we felt the, the vibes, Philippe, and then that chat is confirming this. I would like you to stop sharing your screen so I can share okay. mine and yeah. then let them know what do we still have for today. So everyone watching us, if you are a French speaker, Arabic speaker or English speaker, we are going to take now a break. And after the break, we are going to talk with Joy about empowering people in the workplace and how you can create a collaborative culture. We are going to speak in French with Abla about positive discipline in the classroom, but it will be a French session. We will be talking with Izumi and we will be checking about uh, the addiction to screen and how we can get some ideas uh, to, uh, to from positive discipline to help us. And then we will be in an Arabic session again, and then we will wrap up our day with a panel discussion where Dr. Jane Nelson will be with us. All these sessions will be recorded. You can watch them later on on our YouTube channel. And then you can order a certificate. Ordering a certificate of attendance will help us to continue offering you these special days. And then all these details are on the website. Uh, thank you, Philip, again. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here online or on Facebook. I will go to take my break now. And then I will see you after the break. Thank you so much, Alit, for inviting me. I felt honored and I'm really glad that we could have this time shared together. So I wish you the best day, all of you and Ali, for the, because you will be the whole day <laughs> animating, facilitating the, the next colleagues. And you can, I really encourage you to Thank go you, and you. see what my colleagues are offering because it will be probably most surely this, about the same kind of spirit. So thank you very much yes. and see you maybe bye bye. someday. Bye-bye. Thank you.